hold your horses. Before we show you our new and improved setup, let me summarize the last six weeks. Hi, yeah, I just had a quick question about... Yes, can you connect me to the sales department? You know your specialist extension. Please press 1. You found yourself a F-250 Super Duty black cab. <laughs> the guy is just letting us take it. Oh, I might go to Vegas. <laughs> and peace out, homie. All right, this is a 2020. This one has the touch screen really nice. Yeah, I was just wondering if you guys still had the Ford F-250 XLT. No, no worries. Yeah, I've been literally looking everywhere online. <laughs> and they only put 1,800 miles on it. Another day, another dealership. Another test drive. This Ford is lifted as hell. I just tried to do a U-turn. I had to do a two-point turn. <laughs> this is not the one. We're here. We in the other car now. <laughs> All right, I'm waiting for this dude to call me back because I need better photos than the ones that show me online. If you're new here, we're Olivia and Nathan. And we just finished our first year touring the country in our RV, pulling a 28-foot travel trailer with an 04 Escalade. You heard that right. We were Cadillac pimping. It did its duty, but it's time for an upgrade. Going through all the online truck buying platforms was tedious and time consuming. I'm tired of bidding on 10 down 15, all the time bidding on 15, I'm bidding on 15, 20, I'm bidding on 15, bidding on 15, bidding on 20. Oh yeah. To finish off a great day. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yeah. Hold on. Oh shit. This is so nice. My God. But on the bright side, we learned all about trucks. Nathan's out there talking to salesmen. This is a 2014. Not bad. But Nathan does not like the sparkly finish. I'll show you guys the outside. See the sparkle? Nathan doesn't like that. We've been looking for a truck for the last probably four or five weeks. The beginning, we didn't even know what the heck we were looking for. We're looking through all these websites, like first it was just like a Chevy 2500. And we're just going through all the Chevys. We're like, oh, that one's sick or that one's great or whatever. And then we were looking at Ford F-250s and we're like, dang, I gotta say, I was never like a Ford girl, like growing up. You know, you're like a Chevy person or a Ford person or whatever. Chevys are strong, dependable, and they'll roundhouse kick Ford right in the mouth. Ford? I mean, these trucks are freaking nice. So then we started looking at Ford 250s and we heard from a few people who have experience with Ford that they are superior in the towing world. I know all my, my, my Dodge people out there are like, uh, uh, excuse me. Anyways, we're just gonna stick on Ford. Once we narrowed it down, we're like, we really like the Fords, they're nice. Then we actually had to figure out like, what are we looking for? And we finally narrowed down our search criteria. So we're willing to drive 200 miles for this truck. We're really looking for 2016 or newer. We're hoping to find something with no more than 60,000 miles on it. We definitely want a crew cab and a short bed if possible. And for the trims, we've learned that it's really gonna probably come down to an XL or an XLT because anything nicer than that, the Lariat, King Ranch, Platinum, um, all of those are not within the budget. We do have a budget that we cannot go over and you know, it's just not the best time to buy a truck right now. It's really not. I can't get over the prices, but anyways, trucks, you know, they, they, Pickup trucks maintain their value, and especially Ford F-250. Nathan and I always think about that stuff. We're like, what's the value we could get from selling it if we put X amount of miles and, you know, we're just, we think that way. Our goal is we're hoping to be able to find a truck this week. If we could find one today or tomorrow, that would be awesome because not having a truck is currently the only thing holding us back. We have everything else that we need. We've done so many errands while being home for the last two months. But the one thing that we freaking need is a vehicle, a truck, something to tow our freaking trailer. And some of these car salesmen were a bit aggressive and pushy, to put it mildly. Always be closing. Always be closing. But Olivia and I never left without a friendly fight, which usually ended in us walking. Our offer is $84,000 a year. Retainer. Plus 
retainer. So we decided to screw the truck and just get a couple <laughs> I got sold. Man. Oh, Ford. Wow, look at this. What do you think? Oh, I like it. Sounds good. It's nice. Just a little bit out of budget. So you guys yeah, negotiate. We'll We're going to have to do some negotiation. Oh. Well, don't let my white duds and pleasant demeanor fool you. I, too, have been known to violate the statutes of man. Dude. Well, this one's much newer. Much newer than I thought. We, were, You know, it's a 2020, so I, we didn't really expect to go with that new of a car. But it seems like the the inside of it is pretty much baseline factory. Like, no, no, no fancy gadgets or no bling bling on the inside. No, but... I mean, I'm assuming it would retain its value. The other one was a 2014. Dude. Compared to the Escalade though, this feels freaking big. <laughs> well, it is much bigger. I mean, yeah. no doubt. Yeah. I came in a little hot around the corner. I was like, oh shit. It shoot. feels safer, but I already feel more secure in it. You know what I mean? The gas pedal is a lot more touchy is than the Escalade. Is it sensitive? Escalade. Yeah, a, oh, little, a little bit. I'm in a truck. Yeah. yeah, we in a truck. I'm a truck man. <laughs> I'm a frontiersman. I'm a western man. What? Look at her. Look, look at Olivia. Woo, she's happy. I will say we've been looking online for so, so long. So for us to actually go. And it's white, which was kind of what we were hoping. White or gray is what we were yeah, hoping for. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like to actually see it in person. Yeah, it's really I neat. Know, I feel more hopeful because yeah. Vroom and all these other websites we were looking at. They were going to take two to three weeks to deliver and they had a delivery fee. So anyways, we're heading back now to the other dealership because there was two dealerships in this area that they have access to. So this could be a sales technique. He wants us to bring our truck back to his, but yeah, feel like, uh, you know, we, maybe he, we owe him something subconsciously, but, um, I mean, it works for us too because we're still interested in this truck. So. Yeah. All right. We'll, we'll see how it plays out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> well, we had our long discussion that Olivia haphazardly recorded. We had the GoPro on for 20 minutes straight. Again, if you guys are flexible, we could be flexible. As we were sort of, um, we weren't negotiating. We we're just having a good chat with with this with our uh, our dealer. <laughs> our dealer. Our dealer. Our, our car dealer. Now he was uh, he wasn't pushy, which I really liked. He he used some sales tactics on us, which you can't blame him for. It's his job. Yeah. But um, uh, we well, were clear. We're, there's a lot of clarity. We know what we can afford. We know what we're looking for. It's about now if, if is finding that that match. Can, yeah. can, can it match up? But basically, it came down to two cars because every other car right now, all the other trucks, the 250s, they're 70 plus. Yeah. So that's way out of our budget. But the two that we could afford was a 2014 and a 2020. The 2020 we actually preferred, not because it's a 2020, but because it drove better. It wasn't lifted. It didn't have these big tires on it. But, 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 but it's a few thousand dollars outside of our price range. So we're hoping he can talk to his boss. We're kind of playing the game right now. We're leaving. Yeah, we're going to bring your, your cousin here. He's a mechanic, a mechanic to, to, to check, check it out. It, yeah. Cause we did hear one thing with the belt, but he's like, it's been sitting. So the guy did tell us we might have some leverage yeah. because it's been sitting and they're wanting more new yeah. inventory, not yeah. these used cars. And it comes with but, a pretty good warranty as well. That will help us out since we're going to hit the road. Yeah. So. But it, we, I think we did a good job. Today, I think today was a very successful day. I learned yeah. a lot. Um, Olivia is well researched, which helps out too. So we were both kind of. Having... I'm all in it. Like yeah. I literally play the like I've done my research. I know. Yeah. And I think I don't know. We might actually head next door to Chevy right now. Just I honestly want to check. Look? Yeah, just yeah, check yeah, it yeah. out really quick. Yeah. So okay, we'll do that. So we'll save our battery too. <laughs> so that truck didn't work out, but after persistently checking the websites and going to dealerships, we found the one, and we love it. It's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ford. And out of the four most trusted truck makes in the RV world, GMC, Dodge, Chevrolet, and Ford, we did in fact end up with a Ford. Have you ever been beaten by a wet spaghetti noodle by your girlfriend because she has a twin sister and you got confused and fucked her dad? Well, that's how it feels to drive a Ford F-250.
And for those of you wondering why we needed a new truck in the first place, and this whole morning I've just been trying to figure out what the easiest, chillest route is. Right there, right there. Oh, yeah. oh my God, we're burning alive! <laughs> And we're back. <laughs> More issues. So here's how we got the truck. We found it surprisingly at a Chevrolet dealership. We made sure to get it inspected by Olivia's awesome mechanic cousin Jason, who made sure to check every inch of the vehicle, ensuring the mechanical, electrical, and computers were all in order. Gotta always make sure to do our due diligence on things. And when everything checked out, it's a lot more than we anticipated, <laughs> but we're making it happen. We finally pulled the trigger. Yeah, so we never really expected to spend this much money on a truck. Um, we probably are taking a bit of a hit buying one during this time. It is the worst time to buy a truck, but we really need it. And honestly, we didn't have a choice. The Escalade, bye-bye, girl. Um, but that little bit of fire under our butts, it's going to give us that motivation to just crush the year. Ha, huh, Nathan? Or as they say in Mexico, si se puede, you can do it. We interrupt this video to thank our Patreon peeps. Because of you, we're able to make these videos. So thanks. And now that we've got this bad boy, we can finally start planning and booking our route. Let's go. New spots in Southern California, and then we'll cut east this way. I do want to go to Corpus Christi down here, so we have to time things a bit because of like the summer's going to be quite madness. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Then we're looking at seven hours. That's doable. So I want to get to Colorado in the summer. Where's Kansas City? Oh, it's up here. We could go to Kansas City up here. All they want you to do in Kansas City is get some freaking meat in your mouth. Hit me with a damn fucking couple of damn triangles of tri-tip. Feels like I'm wearing goddamn skinny jeans. Me <laughs> 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 Dude. <laughs> Me llamo Pedrito. Yo trabajo para la ciudad de Monterrey. Encantado de conocerte. Me <laughs> All right, let's get her done. <laughs> you, dude, how am I supposed to do it? I need help, dude. Don't laugh. Can, okay. You can't laugh. Maybe I need the tripod. Oh, shit, yeah. You put it on the tripod. No, it's fine, it's fine. I got oh, you. Put it on the tripod. No, no, I got put you. Put it on the tripod. Yeah, then I got okay, you. Ready? Right here, go. Commit, bro. You commit. <laughs>